It's time for to cut the grass today, and uh, I starts up fine. The mower starts up fine. However, when I engage the handle, any one of them, or engage the PTO or the blades, uh, it shuts off. Let me show you guys exactly what it's doing. First, before I start, let me show you guys exactly how I knew these handles, these switches weren't bad. The switches here. Let me go one. These are safety switches embedded inside the these compartments. Let me show you how I know they were fine. And that they were doing what they're supposed to do. Just turn the key forward. You can actually hear the brake release. Both sides, and I'll show you guys. When I move this one, let me show you guys that I know the con brake control module wasn't bad either. So I'm gonna pull this one. I knew that was functioning perfectly, the module. However, um, when I start this thing, let me show you what it's doing. And this is the wrong day to start acting up on me. As bad as I need to cut the grass and I can't cut it tomorrow or the next day. Because I got things to do. my fluke meter out but you don't need to me testing to go on farther because I know exactly what's wrong so we got a switch here that's going bad this switch is going bad this switch is going bad maybe I can clean it because I do see some rust down in there between the spring let's clean this real quick maybe that'll help you guys can see it, but there's some rust. So let's try to clean it, but let's test it first, guys. Let's test it. So oh, this is a continuity test. You hear the beep. 
when the circuit is complete, I can clean these up a little bit. not working them it's working sometimes so maybe that rust in there is so we're gonna spray down there just some parts cleaner you can get some electrical cleaner but it doesn't matter so we're gonna spray down in here let's get over here Let's retest it. I don't see that rust any, anymore. It's now as you see the spring. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, just to clean out the sensor, another thing you could do, got some fuses here. You can also check those. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Uh, save you some time just in case you are having problems with these switches or uh, any of the electrical components on here. Let me show you how to check the fuses real quick. Continuity. You know, both of those fuses are good. So let's reinstall this switch and we should be good to go. Almost panicked.
right, there we go, guys. Just a quick uh, video in case you run into that problem. Fortunately for me, it was a simple fix, simple issue. Even if this happens with these safety switches, you can remove them. Um, fairly easy. Flathead screwdriver, pop them out, push them down. Trying to get a better view here. And just clean them. Clean them. Pop them out with a flathead screwdriver. And uh, clean them out. Clean them. You'll be surprised what a good cleaning will do. And I've left this machine out uh, for the last week or so and it's been raining like crazy so and i did have the seat up the seat in this position so i can imagine we got some corrosion here um, and inside the sensor so i left it like this i went and rained a couple days and um yeah it probably attributed to uh, my problem so simple fix um got to mold the next video for this i put it on the rest because i'm going to quickly change these blades um i'm just showing different methods of how to change the um the blades different methods of how to raise the uh more high enough to swap these blades out really quick and we're also replacing uh the deflector uh, it's on its way it's in the mail right now i'll be here today and i'll be changing that as well so uh, that's the next video for this and um once again i hope you found this video helpful uh, thanks for watching terrence and i'm out